Still a little ways out on getting the actual turret on it, so we've got a we've got an uh, M50 Israeli turret that we've sort of subbed in for the Bull Rush turret for now, which is very much the same configuration except the uh, counterweight on the back. So it's been doing okay for now, and that's what'll go on for the show this week um, because somebody hasn't got the turret finished either. So. Scott Casey, I'm the president of Military Minds. Military Minds is uh, an international uh, PTSD awareness organization for combat veterans and first responders. What a turnout! I, you know, when I first uh, heard that we were going to do that, the show was being done by John. It was uh, I didn't know what to expect, and uh, wow! I mean, I'm here. There's like 25, 30 uh, armored vehicles here. That's pretty cool, and everything right from a ferret scout car to a T72 main battle tank. Uh, it's pretty awesome, and of course, you know the old bones here, the Centurion, that's pretty cool too. So yeah, this is fantastic. Lots of people coming out as well. Today's the day, the first Port Cal's tank show. Hopefully going to be an annual event. Looking at the amount of people that are showing up to enjoy looking at all this wonderful machinery, I think this is going to happen again. John and I have been talking about it and uh, he didn't really know how many people were going to come in and I said hey just hang on it's always at the last minute people will come in and sure enough they're all flooding in now so I think the event will be a good one to, to carry on. Are, are really appreciative coming out to this event to see this much of this type of armor and pieces of machinery all in one place I think is very unusual. You know we've got a tank here, a Norinco tank, a T-72 Czechoslovakian tank, the Sherman M4 behind me, Centurion, T-Lav, M5 high tractor with a 90 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Man, there's a, there's a big pile of great looking things that people are really digging. You know, we've raised a ton of money for the veterans and uh, I couldn't be more thrilled. I really appreciate it. Everyone's been so decent and you know, getting along and uh, even Tony's sober, really. <laughs> now, these are rare events, these are rare events. Anyway, I want to thank you all and I'm going to tell you in 15 minutes, um, Trooper Steve Drain, son of uh, Trooper Bill Drain, an actual World War II Sherman tank driver, he's going to fire up that Sherman tank. And he's going to head to Berlin, <laughs> and he's going to end the war once and for all. So if you've been hunting Hitler, yeah. I think we found him. <laughs> so,
do me a favor and take a picture for me? I, okay. I think for uh, with only uh, what three weeks' notice, I think this worked out really good, and uh, yeah, it's a start. It's a good, positive, solid start. So we're going to do this again next year. For sure. Only this time, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a better day when they don't have the big car gotcha. show going yeah. on. And also, too, is we're going to announce it like say maybe three months in advance. So that way, it'll give more chance, more people. Now that this has happened, now more people know what it's all about, and so there's more chance of yeah, yeah, we can probably do this tenfold. You know let's talk yeah, spring. I, yeah. <laughs> let's let's do. We're going to do this again. Yeah. And, that, and maybe what we'll do is we'll incorporate. I can't even know what time it is, but it's over, and we're finally devoid of crowds. Um, very happy with how it went. Like, I mean, I don't really know what the expectations were. They were, they, they varied. You know, one time we thought it was going to be giant, then we thought that nobody was coming, and, you know, this morning at, uh, at 9 a.m., when there was nobody here and not one vehicle had showed up, I thought we're gonna eat about 1,500 hot dogs today. So, because the food truck guy showed up and he was like, oh no. And then, you know, 9.15, the parade of vehicles started coming around the corner. I almost shed a tear. I was so happy. And it just kept coming. And then the people started coming. The cars started parking. And it was a steady flow all day. I don't, I have no, have no idea how many people were through here. And I'm not even sure there's a way to tell by the donations, but I think a lot. You know, I, I think kind of peaked around uh, noon, you know, noon one, it was like, it was packed for a while. Yeah. You know, there was no parking on that road. There was no parking out there, people everywhere. So I guess, you know, expectation wise, it defied anything that I thought, you know, even my best case scenario, it was probably twice as big as that. So overall, just absolutely thrilled with it. You know, I think we'd be proud of ourselves. I think we did a good job. We did something nice for the people. And the other nice thing that comes from it now is that, you know, people sort of understand what we're doing here and we're no longer the weird guys. Like, what do those guys do there? And why are those tanks there? So, I don't know, happy.